Well, ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Here Comes to Pain modded series is back, but this time we are not going to be doing a challenge. We are going to be running through the SmackDown Here Comes to Pain season mode. This is a new type of video that we are bringing over to this channel, so I will be paying attention to the feedback from you guys. But if you guys want to see this series continue, make sure you show your support by smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload. And of course, you know me, we're going to play this on SmackDown difficulty just to make it more interesting. Now it's time to figure out who we are going to play as in this season mode and out of all the fantastic superstars that are available in the modded version of here comes the pain we decided to go with two thousand years later the viper the legend killer randy orton now i know what you're all thinking why out of all the superstars that are available in this modded version of here comes the pain why would you pick randy orton and the answer is very simple randy orton's already in the game so he already has a move set and he also had a drastic model change within this mod so I thought it was a great idea to pick Randy Orton, take him through his career, and try to see if we could turn him into the Viper, the legend killer that you know and love today. So now that that's out of the way, let's clickety-clack this season mode. Hey Randy, as you probably know, I'm the GM of Raw. And as the GM, I have a certain duty to provide the best quality show to the fans. But you're a smart guy, so I don't need to explain this to you. Don't let the pressure get to you, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Bruh. What are you looking at, dog? Randy, you don't want none of Booker T. Randy, you trying to sound like Booker T? But Booker T is a great man. No one can be like Booker T. Talking is over. You dig? We then move on to the first match of this season mode, and we get to face a none other than Booker T himself, a five time, five time, five time, five time, five time, five time. So we get to get a little bit of payback on Booker T here in this match, and that's exactly what we are planning to do. So we kick off this season mode with an absolute banger of a match between Randy Orton and Booker T. And it was a back and forth match. It was actually really tough to play against Booker T in this one. Um, it, we took quite a few bookends from the bookmaster. We took the the match to the outside of the ring. It was a back and forth contest and it was a hell of a lot of fun to play this one um, but at the end of the day Randy Orton put one notch in his belt on the road to becoming the legend killer when he defeated Booker T but Randy Orton couldn't simply beat Booker T in his first match in season mode he needed to send a message to Booker T and everybody else in the locker room that he was not to be messed with so what did he do naturally he took out Mr. Earl Hebner and then he started beating the holy hell out of Booker T after the match was over will this come back to haunt him We'll just have to wait and see. Well, a limo has just pulled up, folks. I wonder who's inside. Must be those centerfold models coming to pick me up. Yeah, right. I was hoping you'd stop by, Randy. I owe you a beating for what you did last week. So tonight, Goldust is gonna fight on my behalf. Yeah, I wanna see you try to beat me down. Huh? Be prepared. So this fight went exactly how you'd expect it to go for Goldust. It's Goldust versus the third generation superstar, Randy Orton. It's just not gonna happen. Randy Orton beat the holy hell out of Goldust here, and we threw him through the uh, the wall. We threw him into the shower because he stinks. We also threw him into the wank closet, which they replaced the posters in this mod, which could be good, could be bad. I don't know. Let's leave that up to Goldust. We threw each other in the bathroom. He thought I had to go to the bathroom. I don't know why he did that. But regardless, at the end of the day, we beat Goldust's ass, and now let's move on with the show. We then turn our focus over into later in the night on Monday Night Raw, where Evolution, Batista, and Randy Orton are in a tag team match against one of the best tag teams in WWE history, the Hardy Boys. This is where you get to see our first modded character in this game, which is absolutely fantastic. This was a back and forth tag team match, with the majority of the momentum being in Evolution's favor. Every once in a while, Matt and Jeff Hardy would get back into the mix, but at the end of the day, Evolution would just shut him down, especially when Batista came in. He would manhandle both Matt and Jeff, hitting Jeff Hardy with a massive Batista bomb. And that would kind of cause things to break down a little bit. It wouldn't be enough. So he would tag in Randy Orton and they would do a sick tag team combination, throwing Jeff into Orton right into the arms of an RKO. And even after taking Matt off the apron, it wouldn't be enough to put Jeff away. Matt Hardy would eventually get the tag and he would look for that twist of fate, but Randy Orton 
the veteran that he is already had it very well scouted. And then after going for a roll-up, everything just broke down. Jeff Hardy got in the rain. Batista got in the rain. Everybody started brawling. And Matt and Randy are going back at it. And Matt Hardy finally would hit that twist of fate. But when he went into the cover, he didn't realize that he was too close to the ropes. And the referee's not paying attention. So we took full advantage of that. And right when it looked like we were about to get back into the mix, this happened. So due to my technical difficulties, Matt and Jeff Hardy would get the victory over Evolution. But rest assured, we did not lose. This was not us. This did not actually happen. I promise you. After that crushing defeat for Evolution, which I still don't believe actually happened, it wasn't a real thing, we were then joined by the man who shall be named Nameless. He came down to the ring and decided to strut his authority, saying that he is in control of Randy Orton's destiny, heading into next year's WrestleMania, whether or not we make it is completely up to him. Sound like a bunch of BS to me. I think he should just go away. But anyways, let's move on. Hey Randy, thanks for helping me get that win last week. It takes some serious skill to lose a match like you did. Haha. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I can help you out if you want. You know, give you some pointers. I mean, if you're trying to reach the top like I did, I don't mind teaching Randy some lessons. Well, that's just too bad. You're just gonna continue to be unsuccessful for the rest of your life. In the meantime, so Randy Orton was not on the card on this week's episode of Raw, but Evolution did represent. Batista won the hardcore title from Rob Van Dam. Ric Flair got the pin over the Ultimate Warrior in a handicap match. And Triple H, in a six-man tag, got the pinfall over Booker T. So all in all, it was a big W for Evolution on week three. Randy. Do you know where Triple H's dressing room is? Not really, I have a lot of stuff to do. Well, keep it short. Remember, be careful what you ask for. Have you ever heard of that one, Randy? Don't forget, I can put you in any match I want. It's all my decision. Mine, Eric Bischoff. So I do have a match for you. Tonight, you're going to have to use all of your talent, skill, and focus on this one. You are going to face Booker and Goldust in a two-on-one handicap match you are going to love it. And you know what the best part is? There is nothing you can do about it. Good luck. Obviously, there's a conspiracy against Randy Orton if he's being put in a handicap match against the two people whose asses he beat two weeks in a row. But nevertheless, Randy Orton's got a strategy. Randy Orton's got a plan. He's the legend killer. He knows how he's going to get through this, right? Wrong. There was no way in hell Randy Orton was going to be able to take on both Booker T and Goldust in a two-on-one handicap match. Every time Randy Orton would be focusing on one guy, the other guy came out of nowhere. Booker T even was disrespectful and hit a spinner rooney right in front of us. Randy Orton tried his best, but at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough to get the win over the likes of Booker T and Goldust. We are now at the first pay-per-view in season mode. It is Backlash. The fantastic set is here. The superstars are here. The crowd is here. Should be one hell of a show. Randy Orton is not booked on the card for the Backlash pay-per-view, but he is able to get payback on Booker T. He finds him out back in the trainer's room and lays his ass out cold. And Randy Orton's pay-per-view is over. We also showed some ruthless aggression, so we got plus 5 XP to make up for that minus 1 we already lost. So that's cool. But just as Randy Orton is about to leave the show for the night and head home, he is approached by none other than Jerry the Cane Lawler. And Jerry Lawler, he wants Randy Orton to go after the tag team titles. But his tag team partner is not who you would think it to be. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure you show your support if you want to see this series continue. Make sure you smash that like button before you go. Turn on notifications so that you never miss an episode. I'm out.